Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Sunday, December 1st, and I'm back for an update. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, thank you so much. This past week in the United States, we celebrated Thanksgiving. We all had, it was a quiet Thanksgiving for me, a small group, but I did cook and I had lots of fun, and I'll definitely be sharing photos at the end. We are uh, now into the Christmas season, and whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope you have a blessed holiday season. I do have some things to share and I'm going to do the unboxing of all of my Christmas ornaments because I will be putting up my tree either today or tomorrow. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to share is a design. It was a freebie by Pineberry Lane and it's called Petite Stitches. And this is a freebie, so I'm going to show you. I did this strawberry. I'll show you how I finished it. And there's the strawberry. The seeds I did black instead of white. And I just put it on a long string. Uh, that is the back. And it came back cute. I just wanted something different. And this is something that I did in one day. So that's the first piece. The next thing I'm going to share is a piece I told you a while back that I had lost my pattern and my threads on a piece I had started. I did find, find it and I finished it, which is great. Uh, this pattern is by Chesney and me and it's called Harvest Time. That was the picture. And I finished this on 32 count light sand. And I did one over two. And it is a beautiful piece. Love it. Now I'm thinking of finishing it on a horn book. I'm not quite sure yet, but I was happy that I did get that piece done. The next piece I did is actually a gift. Uh, so Carol, if you're watching, anybody named Carol, please freeze the frame and skip ahead. And this is by the Prairie Schooler, and this is the 2019, 2018 Santa. And I did him on 40 count, picture this plus feldspar, and it's one over two. Oh, look how cute he is. I love it small. And I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna finish it yet, so I did get those uh, finishes done. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to share with you, um, I don't do Black Friday shopping. I really don't shop out in the stores during the holiday season. It's not something that I like. I don't like crowds like that. I don't like waiting online to pay for something. And I think online offers just as good as a deal with free shipping. So I did order from Joann's online the Happy Planner for next year. I had one for last year and I really liked it. And this is called Best Year Ever. Uh, that is the book. And the Happy Plan, I did order uh, some pouches that I could put things in. I put receipts and things like that. And I keep what I'm working on throughout the year in, in the book. And this was 50% off. So, hey, can't beat that. <laughs> so that's something that makes me happy. So I did get that already. The next thing I'm going to do, if you're new to my channel, a lot of people uh, have seen the ornaments for my Christmas tree. I do have a whole Christmas tree of cross stitch ornaments, and I'm going to unbox and share those with you. If you're new to my channel, you will really enjoy this. I do not remember every designer of the pieces, but I will do my best, so give me one moment. Okay, so this is the box I keep them all in, and... It holds a lot of cross stitch pieces in here. And I'm just going to open this up. And we will get started. Let's get started. This first piece is a pattern by Hands On Designs. It's from the Chalk series uh, that Priscilla Blaine draws, and then Kathy turns them into a cross stitch piece. So that is the first one. This piece is um, an embroidery piece that I did. It's not quest stitch, but it's embroidery. 
That's super cute. Uh, this piece was from my friend Peggy who passed away and she was doing the houses of Hawk Glen Hollow and I turned them into ornaments and I gave all of them away except this one. This is the one I kept. That is the back. And this is the houses on Hawk Glen Hollow. This is a gift that I received from Melanie. And she sent that out to a lot of people this year. This is embroidery also and she hand stitched that. And that is the back. This is from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Not sure what year, but that is the stocking. This was from a, a gift from a friend. I don't know where the pattern is from. Look how cute that bird is. Super cute. This piece was done by... Lana Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher. I love this piece that she stitched for me. That's the back. Of course. This is either Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage Needleworks. I could only guess, <laughs> but it's one of them. Super cute. This is from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Not sure which year. Uh, that is the star. Is the back super cute this was a gift from Pam and this is where I got my idea from the ornaments that I stitched up for gifts this year how cute that is love it not sure where that pattern's from this is, I'm pretty sure, Blackbird Designs. This is from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. This is a beautiful piece, and I definitely highlighted that bird. I love this piece. Peace be with you, my friend. Super pretty. And there's the back. This was a gift. So I'm not quite sure where the pattern was, but super pretty. Has a charm on the back. It's another one. This pattern is by Ink Circles. This is in one of the Just Cross Stitch ornament issues, Christmas issues. And of course, I did these bird pink. Here's the back. This is another piece from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I'm not sure which year. These are the cardinals. That's really pretty. There's the back. This is another Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. That is a Sunflower Santa. Not sure what year on these, sorry. That is the back. This is also a Blackbird design. Um, just crossed the tournament issue. Not sure what year. That is the back. This was a gift. I love this piece. I'm not sure where the pattern is from, but that's peace. I love this. That is the back. It was a gift. Uh, this is a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Not sure. I'm pretty sure it's Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I'm not sure. Oh, that is the snowman. Hands on designs. I'm not sure. Hmm. What year? And the blue on the back. This was a gift. This piece is beautiful. This was stitched by Lee, and I love this piece. I did a little detail on this piece. Bottom, the top. It's an amazing piece. That was done by Lee. Thank you so much. I love this, and a lot of people made me gifts, so that it's beautiful. I'm not sure if this was in a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue or not, but 
very merry. That is the back. This is a beautiful piece. And this was a gift. This was made by Elizabeth. And I love this piece. I stitched this piece also and I finished it so differently. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful piece. This is Gingerbread House. This is either Country Cottage or Little House Needleworks. That is the back. This is a Just Cross Stitch one in my issue, not sure what year. That's Peace. That is the back. I'm pretty sure this is a Just Cross Stitch one in my issue, but I could be wrong. And that is the back. This is a Brita Cup design. This is in one of the Just Cross Stitch ornament issues. That is the back. Oh, he's cute too. This is the Gingerbread Man. This is either Country Cottage or Little House Needleworks. I'm not sure which one. He's cute. This is Noel. I think this is from the 2018 Just Cross Stitch when I'm issue. I could be wrong now. That is the back. Well. Merry Christmas. I don't know what year. I'm pretty sure it's in a Just Cross Stitch when I'm issue. It's super cute though, look at that. Very pretty. This is a Lizzie Kate design. It's lovely. He's cute. That is the back. This is Hands On Designs. Tree Farm. And that is the back. This is a Just Cross Stitch one in issue. I'm not sure uh, what year. The detail on this one is really pretty. And this is the back. Super cute. And this is a gift I received. This was a, a, a wooden ornament. Super cute. This is Hands On Designs. Luminaria Lane. Super pretty. I did it in silver. That is the back. And this is Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. This is a really cute pattern. This piece I really like. Look at that. That is the back. It's hands on designs. I love the church. That is the back. North Pole Express. This is the piece that was given as a gift. This is the one I did. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two because hers was stitched much smaller. You see the difference, how different they look, but it's the same pattern. Love it. Super cute. This is either Country Cottage or Little House. Needleworks. And this is the back. This was a gift from Dina. Not sure where she got the pattern. 
But that was her for first Biscornu. Yes, I love it. It's super cute. Bless that home. I think this is a Lizzie Kate. Not sure. This pattern is by Arlene Curl. And that is the back. Here is another country cottage or little house near the work. And that is the back. This is a prairie schooler. He's cute. This was from a Just Core Stitch Money Mini shoe. This has crystals in the cross. Super cute. This is another uh, Prairie Schooler. This one's blasting it. Yeah, this one I love. That is the back. Here's the Santa. Here's the back. Jingle Jingle, this is Lizzie Kate. Here's the back. This was in a Just Cause Stitch Mini issue. I'm not sure what year. Here's the back. <laughs> This is another uh, Prairie Schooler Santa. How cute is he? Here is the back. This one. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is in a Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. It's a really cute piece, very primitive. And I'm pretty sure this is Little House Needleworks. Here is the back. This I don't think was in a uh, cross stitch on an issue. This is a pattern. Not sure by who. That is the back. This is a Lizzie Kate. Rejoice. There is the back. This is really cute. Here's the back. I don't think this was a Just Cross Stitch Minimum issue. I think this was a pattern. This was a gift. This is from a Just Cross Stitch Minimum issue, though. I love this one. You know who you are who made it. Love it. This is, I think, Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage. I get them mixed up, as you can tell. <laughs> this is Hands On Designs. This was from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I really like this one. Here's the back. Another Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage. Here's the back. This is a pattern. Hmm, not sure who. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the back. Um, 
Misty Purcell knitted me these gloves. They're so cute. They hang on the tree. My favorite color. <laughs> Adorable. This I'm pretty sure is Lizzie Kate. There's the back. When you open the box and take them out, it's like seeing old friends. It really is. Here's another wooden ornament that I received. That is the back. This, of course, is Prairie Spooler. That is the kitty cat. There's the back. It's Prairie Schooler. There's the back. And this is Hands On Designs. Now, there's the back. I'm thinking this is in a Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue Blessings. There's the back. This is Ink Circles. This is in a Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. This is a really pretty piece. I love this one. Ink Circles. There's the back. Another Prairie School or Santa. There's the back. He's super cute. There's the back. Little House Needleworks. There's the back. They're really cute. I didn't do all of those in the series. I only did a couple of them. I saw it so much that I couldn't stitch them anymore. And this is Hands On Designs Cut and Carry. I really like this design. The series was really good. This is from a Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue also. I'm not sure what year. That's super cute. There's the back. Here we got another prairie schooler. She's stuck on another ornament. <laughs> oh well. There's the back. This is from a Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. Pretty sure this is hands on designs, and I'm pretty sure it was from 2018. Joy. I did the red, red, white, and green. There's the back. That's super cute. Joyous Noel. There's the back. You can see it's on the iridescent linen. This was from a Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. There's the back. Another Prairie Schooler Santa. He's got crystals in here. There's the back. I'm pretty sure this is from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. This is the snowman. It's got crystals in here too. There's the back. And this is the ribbon candy that was stitched. It's pretty. Here's another Prairie School or Santa. I did this really tiny. I did this one over one. Cute. 
pretty sure this is Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage. There's the back. Another Prairie School or Santa. That's with the polar bear. This one, Prairie School is classic. Really, it's the this classic. It's easy. It is so. It was so pretty. This was a gift. I'm pretty sure this was from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Really cute. Adorable. Here's a Prairie Schooler Santa. This was a gift. That was cute. Like I said, they're classic. You can't go wrong with the Prairie Schooler. La la la. Pretty sure that's a Lizzie Kitty. This is Country Cottage or Little House Needleworks. There's crystals in here. It's a pretty design. There's the back. This was a piece that my friend Peggy uh, had made. It's a punch needle piece. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm not sure who designed that. Maybe Blackbird? It reminds me of Blackbird. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is hands on designs. It's a tree. There's the back. This was also a gift. I'm pretty sure this is an Adjust Cross Stitch ornament issue. These are the mittens. There's the back. This is definitely a Lizzie Katie. That's cute. This is an Adjust Cross Stitch one in an issue. With a button holder. That's cute. And this was a gift, and this I'm pretty sure is Little House Needleworks. Love it. There's the back. So that is a wrap up of all of the ornaments I'm going to be putting on my tree. I hope I've inspired you to do at least one cross stitch ornament for your tree. Have a, a blessed holiday season. I should be back in the middle or end of December, but I don't know if December is a busy month for all of us. Uh, I did have my floors in my house totally redone. I'm going to include pictures of those. Uh, the gentleman who installed my floors came from several states away, so he does travel. If you need excellent wooden floors put in your house, <laughs> send me an email below and I'll definitely give you the information. They came out beautiful. And until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching. Okay, we are entering the house through the side door, through the driveway. And as you walk in and it is the laundry room the electrical box hot water heater washer dryer and all the floors were just done in the house they are absolutely amazing uh, this is the kitchen area and left right through this door that is the front door and it's gonna walk into the living room windows and into the dining room area. And I'm gonna give you a view from all the way back on this wall. Okay, so all the way back on this wall, you can see the front door is on the left, the windows. This is the dining room, and then it flows right into the living room. As you can see, there's really not much in the house. These are my daughter's guitars. Brand new Lazy Boy. And you walk through. This is the hallway. 
Then we got the bathroom here. Go through there. Down this hallway, you have three bedrooms. And this used to be the craft room. And here, straight ahead is the other bedroom. Just the bed. It's pretty empty right now. The floors are the best. This is the flooring. It's a premium laminate flooring. This was purchased at Sam's Club. It's the only place you could buy it. This is the top of the line floors. I'm going to show you. This is German made and engineered. This is made in Germany. 